Hello, this is David Olshan of Nevada Legal Services. This is our ongoing YouTube Law School, part two, how to file your complaint. So the first thing you need to know is you must file your complaint with the court and then serve it on the adverse party. There is a time limit to serve. We're gonna go into that. Usually it's 120 days, but it may be as short as 45 days. So pay attention. Courts may require electronic filing. That means you have to do it on your computer and make a PDF. Clark, Washoe District Courts, Reno Sparks, Las Vegas Justice Court, they do require electronic filing. We will have links on our YouTube channel on how to do that, how to sign up and do electronic filing. Federal courts, you have to serve on paper unless you're an attorney. And also realize there are statute of limitations on some of these claims. So check chapter 11 of Nevada Revised Statute. It has most of Nevada's statute of limitations. You must bring the court, uh, your case to court. You must file it with the court within a certain amount of time, and that's under NRS Chapter 11. There are filing fees associated with filing a complaint or a petition. Uh, most courts have a fee waiver form that allow you, allows the court to waive the filing fee if you qualify. Uh, the idea here is that you cannot afford an attorney. You cannot afford to file. So uh, you shouldn't be barred from the court. So there is a waiver of the filing fee. Generally speaking, high income people with many resources, either or, won't qualify. Uh, you know, if you're Mitt Romney and have $50 million in the bank or whatever and don't have an income, you're still not going to be eligible for a fee waiver, even though your income is zero. So just be um, advised, generally speaking, if you check the poverty rate and your family size, if you're at 150 percent or less and don't have a lot of money in the bank, you'll probably qualify for a fee waiver. You must serve your complaint after it's filed. And that's a requirement under Rule 4 of the Rules of Civil Procedure. This could be anyone who's not involved in the lawsuit. So if you're suing someone else, you can get a friend to serve it, and that would be sufficient under Rule 4. You can also get the constable or sheriff or a professional process server. So just realize you cannot serve your complaint. You must get a third party who's not named, who's not interested in the lawsuit. You must get a summons issued if you have a complaint or a petition for judicial review. So your complaint must be followed by the summons. The summons is the official legal call to court. Uh, you go serve it on the defendant and that's the instructions on how to defend the lawsuit and participate in the lawsuit. Those instructions uh, are in the summons. Uh, petitions for judicial review in Nevada can be served by mail. Uh, there's a Supreme Court case, State versus DeRosa, uh, you must get a third party, however, to mail it. You can't, as the plaintiff or the petitioner, you cannot mail it. You must get a third party to mail it. Again, I talked about a fee waiver. A fee waiver, if you're waiting for the fee waiver and the statute of limitations run, the, the Nevada Supreme Court is clear. The court will stop the clock, will stop the statute of limitations from running if you file your, your complaint with a fee waiver. The fee waiver stops until the court considers it. Generally speaking, you must serve your complaint within 120 days of filing it with the court. But how it's different for a petition for judicial review. It's 45 days and a fee waiver should toll this 45 days. But some courts in Clark County don't recognize that requirement. And keep in mind, these deadlines are important. So your limitation period is going to be covered in NRS Chapter 11. A petition for ju judicial review is usually 30 days after the agency decision. However, if it's an unemployment case, it's 11 days. So read those notices because they'll have different statute uh, limitations periods. And sometimes they're 30 days, sometimes it's two years. So check it out. There's a legal obligation to file your action, file your complaint or petition within a certain amount of time. Uh, other complaints, uh, like a, uh, an employment discrimination complaint, it has to be filed within 90 days of a Nevada Equal Rights Commission or Equal Employment Opportunity Commission decision. So if they say you have a right to sue, you've got to file that in federal court within 90 days. And of course, I, I talked about this before under Rule 4, there's service deadlines. Follow these time limits or your case may be dismissed. If you need help with a complaint or anything else, we provide free legal services. Just go to nevadalegalservices.org and fill out an online intake. And I will be back with more YouTube Law School lessons.